All right, welcome back to Scripture Channel. Today is proof of fathers and parents who hate their own children. I'm going to go to Proverbs chapter 13 and 24. Listen to me carefully because this is real quick and short and to the point. He that spareth his rod hateth his son. Now let me explain to you what the rod is. The rod is the rod of correction. What you do is you take that rod and you use that rod to correct. Like a shepherd uses his staff. Sheep getting ready to go over this way. He takes it and, and nudges them over this way. He don't go all of that. No, he just nudges them. And, you know, down the path. Okay? Now, a lot of people want to beat their kids every time they do something. But what you have to do, you have to nudge them first. Just nudge them. You know, they're going this way, just nudge them. That's the rod of correction. Now, my belief is, first time, you nudge him, you know, you show him the right way. Second time, you know, you show him the right way again. And even the third time, you know, yeah, come on now, you got to get this. I'm serious, you got to get this, you got to understand this, okay. Now, the fourth time, I think, that's when you should get into punishment. Well, look, son, if you can't take out the trash... When I tell you to, I'm going to have to punish you for it. So no TV for a week. Or say no TV this weekend or no PlayStation this weekend. You know, that's normally the time they have all their friends come over. And then the friends come over, hey man, let's play some tip. I can't. Why not? I, 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 did, I did. I was bad. I'm on the punishment. Let it be known. Second time, you know, take it a little longer. Take it for a month. Next time, take it for like three months or whatever. You know, and they ain't learned by then. Um, yeah, I would say um, spank them a little bit. But I like the way my father did me. I remember some whippings I got. He spanked me about, what, 11, 11 hits with a belt. You know, I had to put my hands down in the chair and my butt was back there. And he got the belt and hit me. One. That first time, I put my hands back. He said, move your hands. You move your hand, I'm going to cost you extra. So I had to move my hands. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't even think he ever got to eleven. I think he stopped about eight or nine, you know, maybe nine, you know. Um, so so the thing is, they they have to, you got you to gotta give them the right direction first, you know. Give them the right path first. Use the right of correction to correct them, not to beat them. But then as time goes by, I mean, you know, like, like here's a quick example. When I get home from work, I had the trash taken out. Okay. First time I get home from work, did you take trash out? Oh, I forgot. Uh, get, get up now and go take trash out. Okay. Second time. Um, come home. This second time you ain't took the trash out. Oh, Dad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, I'm doing it now. I forgot. But, you know, give him a little room. But the third time, you might want to give him room or you want to go to that next step I told you about. Take something away. That, that's going to cost you the, um, the Nintendo, the Xbox this, this weekend. You know, and then you move up the next time, you know, make it a month or two or three months and, and so on. And if they do it again, then, you know, then you're going to have to look. You got to get three, four, five licks for this. Because you're going to have to do this. You're going to do what I tell you. As long as you live up under my roof, you're going to uh, abide by my rules. And that's it. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm for spanking. But not the first time, second, and third time. I mean, you got to, when they're little kids, you know, because you got to do this. Let me say this and then I'm done. You got to start training a child up before they're born. You're going to say, how you train a child when they ain't born yet? By you getting ready for yourself. You. And the father, preparing yourself so you can do this. And then when that baby is born, you got them on the right path the whole time. Just keep them there. Don't let them stay up. I'm telling you now, when you let your children get around the wrong children, 
they're going to catch up some habits that they want to do because they see them kids doing it. And guess what? They're going to bring it right to your house where you don't allow it. And then when you don't allow it, they're going to sneak around on you. That's why you got to watch who you allow your kids to be around. Now, I thank my parents for what they did to me. No child, youth, or young adult was coming to my house and I wasn't going to their house unless my parents knew their parents. And they had to, my parents had to approve of them. And there was a lot that my parents didn't approve of and I wasn't allowed to go over there. But there were a few that I could, I could go over to their house and they could come over to mine. And so, let me finish this off and say this here. He that spared the rod he that spareth his rod hateth his son. And this is to those single mothers who are raising a child by themselves and to the children. If, if your father is not there to help raise, teach, and train you from birth on up, they do it because they hate you. Whether they know better or not, whether they're ignorant or not, it's still because they hate you. If they don't know no better, it doesn't matter because they hate you. Because if they loved you and still didn't know no better, they would want to come there and try to raise, teach, and train you in a way so you don't have to go over the same obstacles they went over. You don't crash in the same crashes they crashed in. Now, a lot of parents say, well, I had to go through it. They're going to have to go through it. That's a lie from the pits of hell. If you went through it, train up your child so they don't have to go through what you went through. Anyway, we get to the last part. Ooh, I love this. Anyway, but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. That means they stay on him all the time. And, um, you know, I, I just got to say, it saddens me that so many fathers and, and um, hate their children. And I hated my child. I didn't know no better. But I hated her. I hated my own child because I didn't know no better because I wasn't there to help raise, teach, and train her. Thank God for her turn out to be a, a great child. But it is what it is. Um, and I don't hide the fact that I messed up in life. I'm not perfect, not perfect now, but I'm a whole lot better off than I used to be. That's what I'm talking about. But anyway, now you have it. So let's get some fathers back into the lives of these children. And I'm looking for these so-called leaders, preachers, and teachers to get on the ball or pick up the ball. And let's get these families back together because that's what churches do. I'm a church. Just one, I'm a church. Not always talking about the building, you know, but I'm just saying, let's get back on track. Let's get these fathers back in the homes. Let's help them get jobs if they need jobs. Okay? Let's help get them some training, some skills, and trades. Okay? But anyway. Until next time, be blessed. Hallelujah.